Uh, Jonah Horowitz from Netflix is going to talk about how everybody thinks about how Netflix moved to the cloud and everything was super and amazing and awesome and magical and ponies, right? Immediately? That's how it went, right? You can tell us about that? How it actually went. The truth about Netflix's move to the cloud? Give it up for Jonah. Hey, everyone. Um, so about a year and a half ago, I started working at Netflix. And ever since I joined there, a lot of my friends at other tech companies have come up to me and been like, hey, so should we move to the cloud? And I'm like, well, why? Like, what is, what is your reasoning? Like, what, why are, what are you hoping to achieve by moving to the cloud? And I get a bunch of different answers. Like, some people are like, well, we think we're gonna save a lot of money. And I'm like, eh, you probably save some, but probably not as much as you think. Um, or they're like, well, we think we're gonna save time. We're sick of taking six weeks to get new servers into production. We wanna be able to spin up new development environments for our devs as soon as they onboard. And I'm like, that's gonna work against your saving money thing, but it's a good idea. <laughs> um, and you know, maybe they're starting a new startup. And in that case, like absolutely start in the cloud. Um, but then what are the, what are the challenges of, of moving to the cloud? Like maybe why not? So, when you work in your own data center, you're used to being able to fix things. And I mean fix things by like, you can literally get your hands on a server and do whatever you need to do uh, to, to make it work. That means you can fix network cables, you can fix power cables, you can fix hard drives, you can swap memories, you can take the whole chassis out and swap it with a new one. Uh, you can roll your crash cart up to your server with your console and you can spend uh, you know, hours and hours rebuilding that one server that was too important to back up. Um, all of those things you're so used to being able to do, right? Like um, editing, editing partition tables uh, with a hex editor because the two primary mirrors of a hard drive went down. Um, when you move to the cloud, you don't get any of that. In fact, you get a screen that looks a little bit like this next one and it's just like, hey, your server's gone. Um, so you actually have to really put a lot of thought. And I, I mean, if you run at scale, I get 20 of these a day. Um, so people ask me, like, do you run Chaos Monkey production? Like, is that a real thing? Because everybody thinks we're lying about that. No, we really do run Chaos Monkey in production, but the truth is that that doesn't even matter because Amazon is Chaos Monkey as a service. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean to pick on Amazon um, just so they don't kill me. Uh, I, I'm really sure that Google and Azure and any other cloud provider is too because that's just the nature of running, um, running on someone else's infrastructure. You lose that, that control. So when you're thinking about um, moving, to your, moving your infrastructure to the cloud, you can't just forklift your existing infrastructure into the cloud and think it's just gonna work fine. Um, you have to actually think about every system and how it's gonna fail, and how you can mitigate the potential failures that that system has. It took Netflix seven years to move to the cloud. It wasn't something we did overnight. And when, when you think about moving to the cloud, you really need to like talk to your management about how much work it's gonna take to move your infrastructure to the cloud. You can't just, you know, like I said, forklift everything. And um, when you look at things like auto-scaling groups or uh, provisioning of servers, you have to make sure that your infrastructure is used to that. So Netflix, we run microservices. Everybody likes microservices, right? But um, we do, <laughs> we put all of our microservice, we put all of our state in one layer so that every other layer can scale horizontally really easily. That was a complete re-architecture from how it was working before. Um, this is actually a great opportunity for, for those of you who have been working uh, with an infrastructure that you hate, you actually now get to say, wait, wait we need to stop, we're going to move to the cloud, it's great, but you need to give me all of the things that I've wanted to do forever, you need to give me the resources to do it. So you need to be able to in replace instances, you need to be able to add new instances, you need to be able to lose instances without having to wake up at night, because uh, all of those things are going to happen when, when you're running in the cloud. Um, one of my friends told me 
Uh, I had 99 problems, and I moved to the cloud, and now I have 127 problems. <laughs> so, so don't be that friend. Really think it through. Um, I'm Jonah Horowitz on Twitter. I work at Netflix. Uh, we're always hiring. Thanks a lot.